What's up, Ray Sunshine Hello. here, and Prince Albert the Palm and Colossus, and of course, Connor Cox. <laughs> we are shooting today. This is the only camera time these guys will be getting, but um, Connor and I will be shooting today. We just met. Ooh. <laughs> um, nice and we <laughs> He won. I did. Somehow. Right hand red. He said he has a stretching regimen. I, I do stretch a lot. <laughs> no, those are my words, but like he said he stretches, so he's flexible, I can tell. So. I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I try to move around. So. Yeah, well you beat me in Twister, so. <laughs> it means something. Yeah, it means something. <laughs> so you have a talent agency, correct? Yes, Cox Models, Cox. for uh, 11 years now. 11 years, yeah. wow, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's uh, it's been a good thing. Yeah. What got you into doing that? So, I mean, I started as male talent, mm -hmm. and I worked with a lot of different companies, and then there was like a couple of girls I was friends with that like wanted to get into it, so I started introducing the companies I worked with. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the producers I knew was like, maybe we should make you a website, maybe, you know, talk tomorrow. I'm like, okay, whatever, like, yeah, we can try that. And then it just sort of like took off from there, basically. Perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it wasn't ever planned, but it, it kind of just, I just kind of rolled sense. with the opportunities and it, it right. kind of turned into something. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. And you enjoy doing that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I, I like doing it. I like, uh, like making people money, I like helping, you know, producers get good models, like yeah. helping models make money, get some work. Um, totally. You know, and a lot of great networking comes from it, um, you know, producing and performing. Oh, yeah. Technically, you know, by the by the day to day is like a more enjoyable part of the industry. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say. The other stuff is awesome. Better than being stuck on your you know computer yeah. or phone all the time, basically. Lots of logistics. I would be a terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad with like those. Like I will get really excited, start to book something, and then like think I saw the message and then not. Yeah, but beyond though, but that's good. Yeah, you gotta stay on and all And you the know, messages. it's good too because you're like started as a performer, so you're in the industry, you know what people need. Yeah. You know what they're looking for. I understand what it's like to be a talent, and yeah. I think that does help for totally. sure. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. And then I also heard you started a band with your dad. Yeah. Um, it was kind of a you know random project i mean we don't spend a whole lot of time on it honestly but like we kind of just started to collaborate uh, he wrote like a lot of uh music and he needed some like vocals and words for it so right on. You know, like like he's always been really good at making music um so i like what he came up with and i just kind of just put some words with it once we got done with a few songs, like we never really planned to like send it out, but like, you know, we're done. We might as well just put it out there and uh, see what happens. And um, yeah, apparently I mean, we didn't really promote it much, but, but people that you know, they have seen it too like it. And uh, I mean, it's got, I guess words got around a little bit somehow. I like um, it. Actually, shout out to Jay. He's the same fan who named Colossus. I was on my live last night. I was asking if they had questions. He did ask as a talent agent, the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> Or biggest pain in the ass stories without names, of course, because we're not gonna do that. But like, if you have any good stories, basically, of like, or even crazy things yeah. or weird things that maybe happened yeah. um, um, over the years, eleven years is man, a long time. Yeah. I'm like, like something. There's a few things within my mind. I'm just like, yeah, I shouldn't go there. <laughs> like, have I mean, you ever had like talent that come to like submit stuff online and then like in person it ends up like not being the same person or they look totally different? Yeah, or? that definitely happens for sure. And and it's like, I don't know how you thought this would go. Like, if everyone's gonna see what you eventually look like, what was the point of that? You just wasted all your time. Like, but um, yeah, that definitely happens. Um, that's, that's very like, 
manageable, that's workable. Like we don't really like sign the contract ourselves until we like really know what someone's looks like and all that. So it's not really much of a risk because we know to watch out for that. But um, I don't know, there's there's been, you know, some, like there's been one model I thought of like a long time ago, probably not in the industry anymore. No, I know she's not. Like she, uh, like we, you know, booked her like two weeks worth of work in LA with a lot of big companies. And then uh, had set up like meetings for her with like Hustler and like New Sensation, and, like some big companies. And, yeah. Like, and she started just basically just thinking like oh, out of nowhere. Like, everything was cool. We set up with a couple of gigs before she even went there. Like she was brand new. I understand being new. You don't know what you're getting into. Like a lot of, you know, she just yeah. must have she must have some PTSD. I don't know. But basically, oh, no. she was like, oh, why are you sending me to an office building? Because like because they're they're a Hustler. They have an office. Like yeah. You know, and she just thought something terrible was going to happen. Oh, no. And like and she just ended up disappearing and. And uh, everything got canceled, and I don't think I think she quit like right after that. But it's just like I was, I mean, just literally just trying to set up a meeting with Hustler here. But okay, like, yeah, you, know, that's you think that deal. something terrible is gonna happen? I mean, there's been crazier things that happen. That's just one thing that jumped out to me. That's yeah. uh, not dark. And you know, a lot of guys who hit you up. Oh yeah, yeah, like five, probably five to ten a day on average. Okay, something like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm really curious actually, because like you know, I'm sure you hear from the girls as well, like. We get hit up by a lot of guys, a lot of fans who are like, how do I get into the industry, whatever, like, help me, help me. And right. <laughs> what do you look for when you're, like, vetting somebody? Like, what's the first thing you ask them? For guys? Yeah. Okay, so for guys, um, I mean, if they're not located in L.A., Vegas, or Florida, it's pretty much a no right away because mm -hmm. that not many companies are paying for travel for guys. Um, and it's hard to plan trips that make financial sense for guys. Um, if they're not established yet, and um, and so if they're not looking at those places, it's just it, but you know it's just right. out. But if they are, then it's like they need to look like a male model or have like a really big dick or something, some sort of marketable angle. Um, experience definitely helps. Um, a lot of them don't have that, but uh, but yeah, those are okay. So when you ask a guy who wants to be in porn if he has, if he has experience, right. He was probably like, oh yeah, yeah I yeah. like tons yeah, of girls. Count, so then, <laughs> like, yeah, we can't like research that. You know, everyone can just say that. You know, so like, do you have people sometimes send you like a homemade sex tape or something, or like a webcam thing, or just like pictures, or all of the above? Yeah, like, it could go in even other directions. Sometimes it's it's yeah, it's um, it's random. We don't really look a whole, like into that too much. Like it usually. Usually it doesn't line up right away. It's like if they if they were really only looking at that point, like if we know the locations there, if they if they look like they're like qualified physically, and 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 really then it's like even a little bit of experience. Like we just don't want to be like I would just say you're not ready to sign an agency if you haven't done it. If you haven't shot seasons. a couple, okay. yeah, like because we don't want to be the guinea pig. Like we gotta put our name behind talents and, and vouch for them and they know this guy can perform or at least, you know, he's new, but he's at least done something, you know, a couple of things that we could, you know. I have an idea. I'm like, we just need to start a company that's just the testing out of guys. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, and I, then okay, it's yeah. like sort of like porn, but sort of like people are like, ha ha, he sucks. Reverse house with casting couch, basically. Yeah, yeah, like you fail. <laughs> I think this is a thing. I think there are is a side or two. Like if there's not, there should be. There I, really should be. I've thought of this before. I don't know if, if I've thought of it or if I just came across it, but it, yeah, this, this should be a thing. It could even be sort of like American Idol where like there's like the line out the door and then they're like interviewing Literally. people. And <laughs> Dude, seriously, it could be that could be really good. You would be, you would find a lot of guys would fail, like a lot of. Them. Yeah, most, I'm sure. most would fail. It's um, not a natural thing to be able to do. No. Sex, yes, but like doing it on camera in, in these circumstances, people, in front of people, when you're on the spot, set up, and you have to angle your body particular ways. It's yeah, a lot harder. That's than most that's things. where a lot of the new guys like they naturally. It, it's such an. I just see with new guy like they all just kind of go in and like lay on top of the girl. Mm -hmm. I'm like that is not poor, but like, like typical like, sex. Yeah, like, like, every new guy starts to do yeah. like, we can't see anything. Like that doesn't really yeah. work. And like a lot of new guys can't come unless they're doing that to end the scene. Right, like, they literally, right. It's like you do have to kind of train yourself to come in different positions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's it is unnatural. I yeah. definitely, you know, you're what you're asked to do in porn to 
the positions, the, how long the scenes are, the breaks, like it's, it's not for everybody. Yeah, um, yeah. I've tried to bring in like, you know, a couple of my friends and whatnot, like it, really none of them, like it, it yeah. didn't pan out with any of them. Yeah, yeah. no, it totally makes sense. Yeah, it's tough. Okay, so you were doing music and you lived in LA when you got into the industry. No, I was in Atlanta, I'm from Atlanta. Oh, okay. And so I uh, basically was a struggling musician. Um, you know, we were broke, eating a lot of ramen. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, my, I was trying to become a bartender. That didn't really work out. Um, so I was like, my dad basically just was like, all right, we're, I'm cutting you off. It was, I was 22, it was probably about time. Um, you know, and then I started looking on Craigslist for jobs, random jobs, and then just saw a bunch of adult stuff, stuff came up. I didn't realize most of it was a scam at the time, but you know, I met a couple of producers that were legit in Atlanta. Um, luckily, didn't have any horror stories in the Did you get scammed at all? <laughs> no, I, I, no, I thought I'd clarify. I did not get scammed. Okay. Um, I was at least smart enough to recognize before I ended up in anything shady. Yeah. But I met the, really the two top producers in Atlanta at the time, Evasive Angles, owned by TT Boy. Um, and then uh, it was Brainwash Product Productions, Addy Juniper, kind of a fetish slash adult you know, uh, company. Um, so they started me off in porn. Atlanta is only so much going on, so I moved down to Tampa about a year after. Okay, cool. That. Yeah, and then I was there for two years, and then I moved out to LA. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right, so like 2016, 2020. And now you're back in Tampa. Now I'm back in Tampa. I mean, okay. yeah, I mean, I liked LA, but. I, Florida, I love Florida, and it's closer to home, and um, it just it, it fits me better. It's a good life in Florida. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, and no state income tax. Um, just closer to home. Amazing weather. It's like snowing in LA now, so I'm like, I think I'm the right Yeah. Yeah. Super crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, LA is a love hate thing, but it's so yeah, interesting. Like for everything being there, so it's supposed to be convenient because it's like. The hub, yeah. but it's also like so inconvenient to get anywhere because there's so much traffic. Yeah, everywhere. if the traffic is horrible out there, I was getting sick of that. It was just, it was also um, just kind of progression. It wasn't like an easy, like, oh, I'm just gonna move from LA to Florida. Like, I, my lease was up in like uh, end of January 2020, like right when COVID was hitting, and I was like, something weird's going on. It's so, like, I'm just gonna go home to Atlanta for a couple months, figure out what's going on, and then I was just like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, not go, not go back out to LA. I feel like it's not, not the right place for me right now, basically. Yeah. Good move, good move. Your dad probably knows what you do. He does. And he's cool with it? He's cool with it. Um, we don't talk about it. I mean, just my family in general, we don't really talk too many specifics. Um, but yeah, they, they've, I mean, I've been doing it for 11 years now, Right, so and like, when they first found out, were they like upset? I was 22, so they were pretty upset, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I was young, You so. have a bright future. Yeah, now yeah. they're like, your future's toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've already given up we've on that. We've long accepted yeah. this bullshit. See, I grew up like, uh, with very good grades, and I was like in the top one percentile of every like testing category. So they like thought I was gonna be like, you know, like doctor, yeah, yeah, yeah. something. So, but then like I was like, you know, 15 and like in a band, I'm, like, no, I'm not going to college, I'm gonna just be a rock star essentially. And like, and now you are in a different way, yeah. I mean, it, was, it didn't exactly work out that way, but uh, but I, you know, I, but I basically lit them down with that, like they were already okay. like knew, like, okay, this is this is not going the right direction. Mm -hmm. for, you know, good seven years roughly before I even did adult. Years. So yeah, they so they at that point they're like, okay, just Ooh, another level funny. of disappointment basically. That's <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun. I love it. Okay. It, it's okay. damn good that I was successful. That's the thing. It's like if this didn't work out, like that would have sucked. True, <laughs> true. I feel like as a guy you can kind of slink back into society like a little bit better than yeah. as a woman. I mean there is so much porn out there that like realistically even if you were a woman who did a few scenes like probably nothing would come of it in your future but you really never know and like people get fired over it yeah. and they're like normal people jobs. So. It's how much porn, how, it's how much porn you do. Probably yeah. the likelihood of, of right. people realizing it. Like I've probably done too much, but yeah, you're right. It's but like, the more successful you are, the less, like you don't really have a chance to try to blend in after that. Yeah, pretty, yeah. There's no, there's no turning back now, but you're right. It probably is uh, easier as a guy even then. Uh, Maybe, yeah. If you did like a few and it didn't work out. Yeah, then but there's certain jobs I'll never be. I'll never be able to be a teacher. I never right. wanted to be a teacher, thank God. Like, right. I'll, you know, I'll never, you know, probably be a politician again. I never right. wanted to be a politician. So it's just certain things. That, but right. That's totally fine. Though. Exactly. Yeah, those are kind of the things I thought of before I decided to take the plunge. Like, okay, 
I have to be okay with never being hired to be a teacher. Maybe a professor somewhere you could like slip in. Yeah. Right. Actually, nowadays, probably, my, actually, I may, nowadays, you might be more qualified to be a professor. Who knows? I mean, in some ways, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I. Oh, someone's quoted my YouTube video and they're like, study. I don't know. Things are changing real quick. You never know. You never know. Um, oh yeah, I already told my family I was going to be a musician. I was like, I'm either going to be a musician or I'm going to be homeless, and it's fine. Like this is all. There's no plan B. This is all. Yeah, yeah. And then then porn ended up being the, the plan B. But it, but then it almost it was like, okay, well, I actually didn't think about this, so maybe this is. <laughs> um, That's funny. Yeah. yeah. So now awesome. it's like yeah. So this it worked out. Um, right. And I can always go back to being a. Start a musician if you know it's a plan B now. That's pretty good. You have a good combo going on because it's like musicians, like, there's a lot of people who've been to jail, all sorts of things. Right. Like, you don't have, like, you they recover from all sorts of things. Like, it doesn't industry. matter. It's like the music is good, right? The music is good. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like you can't flunk out of like, like, oh, you have this on your resume, you can't do music. Like, that, that does not that, that thing, like, it's right. the same as porn, like, you right. really like. Unless you like, I mean, there's certain things, I guess, that you, you would, would probably be in jail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's, there's, other, there's laws in place for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Amazing. Awesome. Come in. Doors open. In the sunshine, spark home. Oh, it's so good to see you, Conrad. You can call me Conrad. You can call me Rhea. 